Good morning. This is George. Today's five minute flash film, hopefully we'll keep it to five minutes, is going to address what tools do I carry in my truck. As you can see, I have an Xterra. It's got some room in there because I did the second seat delete. So I have no rear seats. I have a platform in there, which you'll see soon. And that platform holds a couple of Plano Sportsman's trunks, which has every tool I have ever used to modify this truck. So we're going to do something a little different and take everything out, lay it out on the ground, and inventory everything. Stay tuned. So what tools do I carry in my truck? Well, the smart ass in me wants to say everything that I've ever used to modify the truck. But when you think about that, that actually has a lot of sense to it. I guess the easiest way to proceed from here would be to go see what I have since I carry every tool that I've used to modify the truck, which includes torque wrenches and a sheet of torque specs for every fastener on the vehicle. And I've got deep well sockets and normal sockets. By the way, they're all six point sockets because the 12 point sockets are gonna sit there and round off your nuts and your bolts. And it really sucks to have your nuts rounded. You know what I mean? So let's go take a look at what tools I've got in the truck. So first off, we're going to retrieve the most frequently used tools. Which is in this box. Battery, impact wrench, grinder with metal cutoff blade, small inverter, more batteries, sawzall, sawzall blades, gloves, light, six point deep well sockets, six point sockets. Duct tape, some other kind of tape, miscellaneous electrical, miscellaneous nuts and bolts, more nuts and bolts, metal cutoff wheels, zip ties, thread lock, every torque spec on the truck, work light, torque wrench, drill index, and some ratcheting wrenches. Now we'll put all this stuff away and we'll take a look at the less commonly used tools. Complete tool list will be in the description. And now to retrieve the Plano box of less frequently used tools. So now let's see what's inside. What's in the box? All right, what we have here, radio with a battery, Safety glasses, 
gloves that I can get grungy, shop towels, hacksaw, breaker bar, jumper cables, a way of to charge the batteries. These are the, the wrenches you need to do brake lines. Light, spare charge controller, OBD2 reader, tape, liquid tape, more thread lock, easy outs, more zip ties, tent repair kit, more wire, a funnel, uh, heat shrink, absorbent pads, mechanical agitator, some radiator stop leak. Yeah, I don't advertise, I don't uh, suggest that, but it gets you off the trail. And then a couple of hammocks. Passenger side door has fire extinguisher, sunscreen, and water. The center console has flashlights, including a couple of black lights. You can also see the ham radio there. Driver's side door has fire extinguishers, an orange safety flag for use on the sand dunes, water, electrolytes, a stick tire pressure gauge, and a knife. Moving up into the door handle is a pulse oximeter for monitoring blood oxygen at high altitudes. Behind the driver's seat, in the door is bug repellent. Down here we see a radio, which we also saw in the box earlier. Tire repair kit, including sidewall patch. A tool roll. We'll open it up here real quick. The contents are in the description. Also behind the seat in a yellow bag is a kinetic recovery strap, tow strap, hard and soft shackles. Under the platform is a floor jack, tire chocks, engine serpentine belt, because if that broke, you're really in trouble. Inner tie rod, two by four blocks, and a high lift jack foot. As we scan around inside the rear driver's side, you see the second solar panel, a bag of bungee straps, multimeter, backup cord for the fridge, tent repair kit, plastic molding removing tools, a knife, and the passenger rear side. Underneath the platform is a bag of cordage, a bag of ratchet straps, tow hitch, towing drop hitch, towing electrical connectors, and more 2x4 blocks. As we scan into the rear, we see Sherpa blankets, AC power cord for the fridge, a 300 watt inverter, lots of plastic grocery bags for trash, citronella candle buddy heater. On the back swing gate is a high lift jack and a pick Maddox. On the back hatch is more bug repellent, LED lights for the tent or anywhere a magnetic surface is available, lighter, tent stakes and mallet, K-bar knife, first aid kit, box cutter, more tent stakes. Under the fridge are more 2x4 blocks, jumper cables because 2 is 1 and 1 is none, 